Good morning from Osaka City. I am starting a big adventure today. I'm going from here all the way to Hokkaido, and I'm going to explore Hokkaido, the train network in Hokkaido, here in winter, the snowy, snowy Siberia of Japan, way up north. To get there, I decided to take a series of two Shinkansen. There's no single Shinkansen that goes all the way. It's too far away. So I'm taking this Shinkansen all the way to Tokyo, and then in Tokyo, I'm changing to the Tohoku Shinkansen, which goes all the way up to Tohoku, Japan's longest Shinkansen. That's the exciting part. But anyway, first I have to get to Tokyo. It's going to be two and a half hours on this train. Today I'm riding two of Japan's legendary Shinkansen bullet trains in winter. The first from Osaka to Tokyo, and then all the way up the Tohoku region to the city of Hakodate on the northern island of Hokkaido. So far, so good. On the first leg, I'll watch central Japan fly by, hope for a good view of Mount Fuji, and hopefully arrive in Tokyo on time. I think I put all three of them in the machine here, but I'm not exactly sure. Because there, I'm changing to the Hayabusa Shinkansen, Japan's longest, through a dramatic and increasingly snowy landscape, through the world's longest undersea tunnel, and finally to Hakodate where a much longer Hokkaido train adventure will begin. First big issue solved. Hoping this is a non-reserved car, so when the doors open, we all just rushed on, and whatever seat you can find is your seat, and I wanted a seat on this side. Uh, because this is where you can see Mount Fuji if it's a clear day in a couple hours from now. I've been by Mount Fuji on this Shinkansen five or six times in my life. I've never really gotten a good view of the mountain. It's always been clay, uh, hazy or cloudy. Today, the weather forecast says it's going to be very clear there at the time I'll be there. I don't know. It usually clouds over, but so far so good. I got a seat on this side. So. seeing some snow here uh, hitting the mountains right outside of Kyoto and ahead the blue sky. Um, I'm not going to cover this ride to Tokyo too much because I've already done this uh, included the Shinkansen in other videos but I will I do have some facts about the, this Shinkansen. It's 515 kilometers or 320 miles at a maximum speed of 300 kilometers or 186 miles per hour. And it can go from zero to almost that, zero to 270 kilometers or 168 miles an hour in just three minutes. But for now, I see that the sun is out and I'm just going to sit here and relax until we get to Fuji. So, see you then, I hope. Good news for you Mount Fuji spotters like me. Look at this.
of these complicated tickets too. I've got three tickets. Uh, one for the fair, just from my station all the way to Hakodate. One for the first Shinkansen, one for this next Shinkansen. So I think I put all three of them in the machine here, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, there's mine. Hayabusa at 1320, Hayabusa 25 to Shin Hakodate Hokuto. That's the last station I'm going to on the bullet train, track 22. Track 22, easy enough. And all the trains here in this part of Japan do not have non-reserved seats, so I had to pay extra uh, to get the reserve seat, but I know I have a reserve seat. And I bought these tickets yesterday but this was the, I got the last window seat on the entire train because secretly I'm hoping that uh, when we get up north it will actually be snowing. Not just snow on the ground, but actually snowing outside the bullet train as we shoot through the uh, northeastern part of Honshu. And I am car two, seat 12A. Okay, I'm going to try to talk in between their announcements. The speaker is right here, but the speakers are everywhere. It's very hard to get good audio for this video here. A little bit about the Hayabusa Shinkansen that I'm taking. Hayabusa is the Japanese word for peregrine falcon. The whole route is 824 kilometers, which is 512 miles. The maximum speed is 320 kilometers, or 200 miles an hour. About eight minutes until we leave, we're all standing around because they keep telling us, wait, 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 please wait. I think they're like cleaning the train and they got the doors closed now, so we're all standing around. All they're doing is ramping up the sense of anticipation for when we get into the train, find seat 12A and take off through the wilderness of Honshu. By the way, here in Tokyo, it's kind of warm today. It's probably about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, slightly windy, so it's chilly, but it's... Uh, certainly acceptable for most people. Where we're going is very cold. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, got my seat, got my seat mate, whoever this is, and uh, we'll be leaving shortly. leaving Tokyo, we're out of Tokyo now. The train is actually 17 cars, but seven of them are splitting off somewhere and going somewhere else. So only 10 of them are going all the way to Hokkaido. And this Shinkansen started in 2011, so it's not even really that old as I'm making this video. So this opened in 2011 and it only went to Aomori, which is the top of uh, Honshu. It didn't go under the sea to Hokkaido until 2016. So what it does is it goes through some plains here north of Tokyo, which we're in now, and then it kind of goes in a valley between all these long mountains, or spines of mountains that go through Tohoku. But sometimes it goes through the mountains, a couple of times through some very significant tunnels, very, very, very long tunnels, and then finally through the big tunnel, the undersea tunnel, which depending on how you word it and how you define it, is the longest undersea tunnel in the world. We'll talk about that when we get there because that's hours away. But for now, it's lunchtime. was very good. Um, so it's gotten a lot more rural here, still kind of mostly flatlands, a lot of tunnels though. I just walked up and down a couple of the cars here and like every seat has somebody in it. This is a very, very, apparently very popular route. I don't know why they don't add more. 
So yeah, so seven of the cars on the front of this train are splitting off in a couple hours to go somewhere else, a little branch Shinkansen line, and then the rest of us ten are continuing up to Hokkaido. Now we're in a tunnel, and somewhere up here is the first of the major tunnels on this route. It's the Zhao Tunnel. I think this is it. I think this is the Zhao Tunnel. We're going to be in this mountain for, I don't know how long, but anyway, seven miles. A strange feeling, and this is far from the longest tunnel on this route. Just arriving at Morioka Station, and this is where the trains split. Mine will keep going north, and the other will go sort of west to Akita. Um, seeing a lot of snow now on the ground, and uh, this is the halfway point of the trip, time-wise. So it's going to keep getting snowier and snowier from here on up, I think. much on video but trust me this is something this is the Hakoda tunnel it's the longest land tunnel in Japan we just entered it it's 26 kilometers or 16 miles long all through the rock of the mountains up here so the snow was deep and actually falling uh, when we just left the last station which was Hachinohe on the other side of this I bet it will be at least as deep and snowy so this is a strange moment, um, just being kind of trapped down here in the bowels of the earth. Um, and after this, we're going to go through Shinaomori, which is kind of the last thing in Honshu, and then the big one, under the sea. We're in the very far north part of Honshu now. Still snow on the ground, not snowing. Oh, it is snowing a little bit. Anyway, uh, after we finish this little bit, we're going to be at Shin Aomori soon. After we leave there, we're going to continue north, and that's when we get to the exciting part. The Seikan Tunnel, which goes under the Tsuruga straight between Honshu and Hokkaido. I have some facts about it. The tunnel is the longest undersea tunnel in the world kind of what that means is of all the tunnels in the world that at least partially go undersea this is the longest it's roughly divided into thirds so the first part is under the land here in honshu then there's the under the water part and the final is under the land in hokkaido so the part that's actually under the water is 23 kilometers the channel tunnel between france and britain is longer actually under the water but the land part is not as long there so Depending on how you word it, this is the longest undersea tunnel in the world. Uh, the whole thing is 54 kilometers, which is 33 miles, so we're going to be in it a very long time. The tunnel's not actually built in the water, it's under the water, under the rock, through the rock. It's all through the rock. There just happens to be water above us at one point. But the lowest point will be about 790 feet below sea level and 330 feet just below the water. So the story of the Seikan Tunnel is that there used to be a ferry across, actually a train ferry, between Honshu and Hokkaido. In 1959, there was a typhoon that came and sank five ferries. 1,430 people died. 
And a few years later, in 1971, actually, it was decided, okay, we need to go ahead and start building this tunnel. Uh, it finally opened in 1988, and then in 2016, the Shinkansen opened, and the regular trains stopped except freight trains. The Shinkansen now goes about 160 kilometers or 100 miles per hour. All of this is planning to change in 2030. They're right now building the Shinkansen line even further than Hakodate, all the way to Sapporo. And the part that they're building from Hakodate to Sapporo will be 76% tunnels. So just like this one, it will not be super duper fascinating as a scenic ride, but it'll be very fast to get from to get between Sapporo and uh, Tokyo. We just left Shin Aomori Station. That is the last big city, last big stop uh, before the end, really, before Hakodate. A lot of people got off the train. My seat mates went and found, they're still here, but they went and found like their own private seat. So we're gonna enter that big, big tunnel, the big Seikon tunnel soon, and then we'll be on Hokkaido Island magically. Okay, this is it. This is the tunnel. Nice, isn't it? Somewhere over us right now, probably right now, is the ocean. It's the Tsuruga Strait. Icy cold waters here in February swirling above us and we're somehow magically under it all and there it is we just left the tunnel we are in Hokkaido. We are on Hokkaido. The Siberia of Japan. The Canada of Japan. The Hokkaido of Japan. Snow is on the ground, but it's not snowing here. And it's pretty gorgeous here after sunset. Okay, here we are. Here's my Shinkansen. It's over. It's snowing on me. Shut up. And what better way to, to arrive here than to finally see some real Hokkaido snow. To be honest, the uh, seat felt a little bit cramped, although there are more expensive, roomier seats I could have bought, but they're too expensive for that, so I just had to deal with it. And the Wi-Fi kind of worked once and then I tried for half an hour and I couldn't get it to work again. So, you know, not a perfect ride, but uh, they had a food cart and they had uh, a lot of great snow. So now I'm going to go to the city of Hakodate where my hotel is. I'm gonna check that out today and tomorrow a little bit. That'll be the next video. This is the first in a series of videos from Hokkaido. I'm going all around Hokkaido by train. It is a large, large island, and there are only a few train lines, but I'm gonna take them wherever they go. So, if you wanna see Hakodate, join me in the next video, and I'll see you for that. Seven hours on Shinkansen, what a day. <sighs> good day, good day. <sighs> I think I need my hat, and now my hand is frozen cold because of the snow. I'm gonna to have to learn very quickly how to get around here in Hokkaido. Many thanks to my Patreon supporters who help make these videos possible and who, for as little as a dollar a month, can watch new videos at least a week before they're published. Special thanks to David Richley, Jacob Fats, Lever Wong, Nathaniel Holland, Omeyer, Ray Nichols, Samantha, and Will Phillips.
And thanks to subscribers to my free weekly email newsletter, which features links to new videos a day before they're published, as well as behind the scenes info from my travels. Links to both are in the video description. And thanks for wandering around with me.